continuing a little bit more with naming from part one uh, this next slide shows how we use numbers to locate things like chlorine atoms um, works a lot the way we were previously locating things like methyl groups when we were talking about branched alkanes so we again number in the direction that gives a low numbering for locating halogens and otherwise we have the same root names to tell us if there's two carbons in a chain like ethane three carbons like propane and um, and so we get the possibility of, of lots of different possible alkyl chlorides and of course we can substitute the chlorine for bromine or iodine fluorine and, and get the corresponding molecules there and there's plenty more uh, practice of naming among the exercises at the end of chapter four so you can be taking a look at those uh, as well <clears throat> these are some uh, other examples um, Freon there on the left side is a old trade name for a dichloro difluoromethane uh, used for many years as the refrigerant in air conditioners notice that with two different halogens they are placed alphabetically in the name so C for chloro comes before F for fluoro that's the reason they are ordered in that manner uh, iodine iodo would come after fluoro and if this thing had a bromine that would be mentioned first so again based on methane there is just the one carbon and so we don't need any numbers here because everything has to be attached to that that single carbon next to that uh, we do use numbers for this uh, 1112 tetrafluoroethane because there is another tetrafluoroethane that we would want to distinguish this one from namely the one in which there would be two fluorines on each carbon so this one is distinguished from the 1122 tetrafluoroethane so as before we use numbers when we need to be specific down at the bottom what we see is that when you have something that's both an alcohol and an alkyl halide uh, the alcohol takes precedence so this is numbered number one carbon on the left named as a one propanol and that puts the bromine on carbon number three so that's a new rule that we will encounter in this chapter when we have both halogens uh, in and an hydroxy group in the same molecule it's considered more important that it uh, corresponds to an alcohol so our suffix ol indicates that and our numbering um, shows that preference as well this chart is handy for comparing some basic properties of halog uh, of of halogenated compounds as well as the alcohols there uh, what I stuck in here is what you see in blue that was not in the original table but if this atom X is just a hydrogen then you have a lineup of regular alkanes methane ethane propane pentane hexane and their corresponding boiling points and so you can see that the more carbons you have that certainly tends to increase boiling point but we can also compare going across a row and see the effect of substituting that hydrogen with halogens and uh, notice the corresponding iodide has higher boiling points than bromides and that's higher than the chlorides uh, notice that the alcohol if X is an OH group way over here on the right uh, notice how high those boiling points are um, compared to say the fluorine in which uh, we might expect a, a closer similarity fluorine and an OH group are approximately the same in molar mass and so all things being equal we might expect the boiling points of fluorides to correspond to the corresponding alcohol um, but that's not the case that all things are equal uh, OH groups can hydrogen bond if you remember from general chemistry hydrogen bonding makes water have an abnormally high boiling point and so alcohols are also that way uh, at least they're high compared to the corresponding halogenated compounds <clears throat> 